Hi friends, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. Today's video is going to be an updated bullet slash creative journal flip through. Um, I have a another video previously for the same journal. Um, I will link it down below, so make sure to check it out if you want. Um, but yeah, today we're just going to be doing an updated one. It's been about seven months since that video, so it's been a minute and I wanted to share with you what I currently have. I'm almost done with this journal, so um, I will come back with another updated or finished, completed uh, creative journal flip through when I do finish it. But anyway, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you love stationery, if you love journaling, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and let's get started. Okay, so this is the journal that I have. I got this from Walmart quite a few, actually not a few years ago. Well, I guess like two years ago is when I bought this journal. Um, but anyway, so I have exactly where I left off. The last time I, this was the last spread that I did um, in that video. So this is where I left off. Um, just a quick insight, this journal is my creative journal. I use it as a place to write down my thoughts or if something fun happened um, in my day or just about my day, to-do lists, um, positive affirmations, quotes, um, sometimes just more scrapbook style. I don't even write anything on a spread. Um, grocery lists, just things like that. This is the journal that I use it for and I call it my whatever journal because I really come here and just get creative, have a good time and not think about it too much because I'm an overthinker. I explained it a lot more in detail the last video. So if you wanna hear more of an explanation, just watch the other video, it's more chit chatty. This is also gonna be kind of like a chit chat as well, just something to just kind of, you know, maybe if you wanna journal or hang out with me, it uh, uh, could be like that too. But um, yeah, this journal is just whatever journal. I um, have another one that I like think like I calculate every single item that I place on a spread and it drives me insane. So that's why, I, that's why this journal is the way it is. It's crazy. It's insane. Um, anyway, and by the way, all this stuff in here I use for each spread, I use a sticker sheet. I just pick a sticker sheet and that's what I use to, um, kind of like make my theme out of or like inspired whatever you know what I mean anyway um and if you have any questions about where any items are from just leave a timestamp and I will get back to you and let you know where I got them from but anyway so let's get started I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here a little bit there we go okay so this first one here I have this like black and white red kind of theme I use these cute little ladybug puffy stickers and I have a lot of these Tim Holtz like little um quotes that I love using when I just want to fill in a space um but yeah and this one here I really like I actually got this little like card thing from a pen pal she gave that to me and um yeah I just kind of like literally wrote about my day in this little spread this one here just has these cute little fish stickers and I was just writing down some like goals that I wanted at that time. This next one has like these cute sloth pop-up stickers from Dollar Tree. I have a lot of like summer themed spreads too. Um, I just love how colorful the stickers were and I just wanted to make my spreads really colorful. Um, I love this sunglass. It's like metallic with gold um, foiling. This uh, scrap of paper was a from a stationary swap. And here's this one. We have these cute little glitter llamas. I love those are from Hobby Lobby. Then again, continuing with more colorful summer stickers. I think these are from like a Target sticker book from quite a while ago. And then here again, we got more of that scrapbook kind of style. This squirrel, like, look at his sticker. Look at this sticker. It's like fabric, like felt, and it's like stitched, and it has rhinestones. Those are from Hobby Lobby. I have, I think, like two more. But yeah, they're from Hobby Lobby from a very long time ago. And then this like squirrel washi tape is uh, empty washi I got at Kino Kunia. And I remember when I made this spread, I wanted to use this washi tape. So <laughs> I made this spread because of the washi tape. This next one just says, enjoy the little things. See, like just like a simple quote. And I just kind of like went off with the pinks and yellows and greens. A lot of these foil stickers from Target. And then we've got some more like this palm tree washi is actually from the Go Calendar store. I got this washi tape when they had a sell. And um, it was when I first started collecting washi tape. This one was actually like a list of things that I wanted to do around the house. And we have another kind of like scrapbooky spread. This really pretty pop-up sticker is from Dollar Tree. Love this little Rilakkuma sticky note from Daiso. 
and um, this like mint and purple I'm like obsessed with it and these little like epoxy dessert stickers are from Hobby Lobby and see I made like a shopping list of what to buy normally like when I make like grocery lists and stuff like that I just use my regular list pads that I get from like Dollar Tree and I just kind of switch them out but sometimes I'll write it in my journal this day here I actually just wrote about Saturday and um, yeah I have this cute little gummy bear washi tape from Dollar Tree then we have this like colorful spread that is very Lisa Frank because I had these little smiley face stickers from like 2002 and then I had since I was a kid and it's literally just talking about Lisa Frank. <laughs> um, this next one here, I have these stickers from Walmart and they were actually like teacher stickers but I just loved all the animals so I thought those were really cute. You're gonna see a lot of these like narwhals. I just think they're adorable and they're from an old like summer sticker book from Target. And here's this one. Love my little doily papers. You can get those at Dollar Tree. This one's actually about dogs because I have these little dog stickers. I just put like dog facts. And this one was, um, what was this one about? Oh, I literally wrote this just because I got this glass pen from Dollar Tree. If you remember, let me know in the comments. I only got one because I think they had like three different sets and I just wanted to use the pink pen and I literally just wrote about my pen, my new glass pen. <laughs> Um, this next one here just has like little panda stickers and we got some cute little crabs. So it's just kind of like all over the place, but really fun. Here I wrote like some more things I wanted to do. I had these little puffy stickers from Tuesday morning. This cute little horse um, memo sheet paper thing I got from a pen pal. This one, I don't really know what I wrote in here. But I, I think I had a little bit too much wine that <laughs> that day, <laughs> and I don't know what I was writing, <laughs> but you know, it's fine. I love this holographic paper here. This is actually from the packaging of like nail polish, I think. Save your packaging, guys. You can use it for so many different spreads and pen pal letters and just so many things. This one here, um, a lot of like pastels going on, and I love the little cupcakes here. This one actually comes from a computer paper from Dollar Tree that I've had for like probably like six or seven years. Uh, next up, we've got a little sloth eating ice cream and a ton of the like hammerhead sharks. This one I really like. I like the color scheme here. The like chocolate brown with like the hot pink and the blue just really vibed well. And I love this washi from Daiso. It looks like frosting with sprinkles. So cute with all the little like donut stickers and another kind of scrapbooky spread these cupcakes are from dollar tree but they're the pop-up stickers that have like the double layered and i always separate them because you can make two stickers out of it and that's what i did here again i got my doily here we've got some more narwhals this paper here is like um really pretty green but it's nice and textured and it's actually from those paper packs from dollar tree i love those paper packs from dollar tree i am always going through those packs and they just they're great for the price. This one, I remember I really love this llama that is from a memo pad from Walmart, I think. And I kind of just wanted to use that here. And continuing with crabs and kind of like a summery spread. These cute little cacti plants are from um, Dollar Tree from a few years ago. And I used some more of those Tim Holtz little um, quotes. I love this wood grain scrapbook paper that I think I got. It's like a small scrap of paper pad from Tuesday morning. And here we have another list. You kind of just like folded it down here. We got these cute little crabs building sand castles. And I just really like the color scheme here. This little like otter Rilakkuma sticky note is from Daiso. And we've got more summery vibes here. We've got more of that eyeglass scrap of paper. I think that was like the last bit I had and I used it. This cute little puffy hedgehog sticker is from Dollar Tree. We have like the purples and the browns and um, I kind of was just writing about productivity. I love these little circle stickers that I just kind of like color in with whatever markers, gel pens that I have. You can get those from Walmart and they're great as like little fillers to add like little details around. Sometimes I like feel like some things are a little too empty and I like to add those um, in most of my spreads. Not every single one, but most of them. Like you see them here. Like I love this one. Pink, purple, and blue. 
I am obsessed. I really like this spread a lot. And this was like the, like, I didn't really like think too much. I was just kind of like, just do it. Let's have fun. Cause like when you overthink, that's when it doesn't become fun anymore. You just kind of like torturing yourself about, oh, it's got to look aesthetic. It's got to look this way. This messed up. I can't, I can't use this anymore. Like, you know, it's just, it's annoying but anyway um these little stickers they're like plasticky are from hobby lobby this actually a pen pal gave to me it's a cute little cat but it's like a little envelope little twin stars envelope and in here i just kind of put a little quote it says remember all is well and to think of good things little quotes that are very nice and i kind of just use that this here is packaging from an old like makeup brush packaging from dollar tree and i just thought it was beautiful and i love the colors some more pastels. This one has like these cute mermaids. I really like how I kind of made them a little bit offset instead of like straight. Mermazing. This one I liked. Definitely there's spreads in here that I like more than others. Um, of course. Then we got some more of those narwhals. I told you like I don't know why I like those narwhals so much. Um, here's this one. We've got these like 3D stickers from Dollar Tree with the flowers. I love the little sun and cloud washi tape from Dollar Tree. Then we have another list. This one, I wrote down just like what I was gonna make for dinner each day. Honey garlic chicken, homemade ramen, ponzu beef bowls, pot roasted potatoes, chicken katsu. And these cat stickers are from um, Hobby Lobby. Here's another one, very colorful. I kinda like the orange and yellow vibe going on. And um, we've got a little camera 3D sticker from Dollar Tree. This scrap of paper, it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like textured, kind of looks like um, pebbles almost. And I like the gray color and uh, it's from Dollar Tree from one of their paper packs again. I have this little dinosaur thing. Um, <laughs> These laser foiled stickers from Dollar Tree um, because this day I watched Jurassic Park and I just, you know, I was like, I have dinosaur stickers and I drew this cute little kawaii volcano and um, this is actually like sticky cork board. It's pretty thick. Um, I got that from a pen pal too. And we got some more mermaids. Here I actually really like how I used my Sakura Jelly Roll white gel pen to add like accents. I feel like that just really made it really cute and um this one lazy sundays i love the little pretzel washi which is from hobby bobby we've got little dinosaurs that are from target and um here's another list of things that i needed to get and it kind of like folds out so cute and here's this one you can't even really read what I wrote on here, but whatever. Dino Land. I just wanted to use these little stickers. I did not know what I was doing there, but whatever. Here I made a, well, this is actually not even a shopping list, um, but this was an event because I wrote about Haku, my dog, when he was still such a young pup. <laughs> um, he went um, potty outside for the first time and I had to make, I had to write about it just some a short little paragraph about it um these are cute little stamps i got at michael's and i just really wanted to use those and of course we got a cute dinosaur on a skateboard can't say no to that i love this like green and purple and um these laser colorful like ladybug stickers are from dollar tree and i've had those for a couple of years now they remind me of stickers from the early 2000s like the sandy lion stickers and um, continuing with more of these stickers and the bright colors. Oh, and these little hearts are not hearts. They're like lip stamps. Um, I got a stationary swap. It's crazy how like you can remember where you get most of your things. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, how do I forget what happened yesterday? But I can remember where this is from or roughly at least. <laughs> we got some more of those ladybug stickers and this like textured teal colored paper. From Dollar Tree. Here I wrote about ice cream, so I have a little screaming ice cream sticker from Dollar Tree. And this one is very Lisa Frank. This is from the packaging. Um, Lisa Frank had um, some of those like cookies that you could get at like Target, and um, I saved the packaging and I cut out the cookie and I used it on here and I just thought that was fun. These little balloon like party celebration stickers are from Dollar Tree. And um, this is from Michael's from like the scrapbook paper pads, which by the way, 
stay tuned because um, soon I'll be doing a Michael's scrapbook paper pad haul kind of thing like flip through I have like six of them that I want to show you guys that are new so well not entirely new I mean I haven't I didn't buy them all at once you know how it goes but anyway oh we got some more here love this little daisy um paper this is from like when I was in fourth grade I'm not even kidding I had this forever and I used it all up finally okay and continuing on and I have this one which is like super colorful like I was saying about the daisy paper here's another like little like flip thing that I did and um, just making a list of things that I wanted to do oh I had more of this I thought I used it all I guess I used it all there how very lovely be you not them and I love this typewriter washi from Hobby Lobby I think just got another little like paragraph just wanted to do like a little update with these little pop-up stickers from Dollar Tree this is from Michaels I really like this one so I have this like llama um, notepad from Walmart from a few years ago and I just thought it'd be fun to tear it in half and use it like that and this like yellow iridescent washi or deco tapes from Daiso and we have these cute laser foiled um, owls or this owl and like the stickers are from the same sticker book from Dollar Tree. There's this one talking about summer, how it was not my vibe. This one talking about the beach. Again, I have this holographic packaging and these like foiled little like sea creatures from Hobby Lobby. And we got some real Akuma washi here at the bottom from Daiso. Some more of these cute little owls. And we got sloths. This one is from Hobby Lobby here little sloth from Dollar Tree and I use that doily paper I love using these doilies they're great for layering and I got these just talking about craft days and um, yeah these little birds little seabirds or seagulls another kind of like scrapbook thing didn't want to write anything I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of journaling here I literally wrote about my routine for the day and I use this paper that has like a little pizza from Dollar Tree and I have like my little crabs. <laughs> the little crabs are so cute. And then some owls, there's like this tree. I just kind of, I don't even know what I wrote. Just wrote a random quote. And cute little pig. I think this is from a sticker book from Michaels. And um, some, another to-do list here, things that I needed to do. Wash all sheets, bathe all dogs, declutter closet and kitchen drawers, prepare packing, wash car, that's all. I don't know what I was packing for. What was I packing for? I don't know. And this is the last journal spread that I've done recently. I haven't journaled as often as I used to. I would journal like at least twice, two to three times a week. And um, cause these don't take long, they're small. I just do one page to take maybe like 10 minutes tops, not gonna lie, 10 minutes tops. Um, but I haven't really journaled. I think the last time I did this, I don't know, when did I do this one? I think it's been two weeks, yeah. So I miss it and I'm definitely gonna be doing some journaling later today. Um, this is actually a magazine clipping um, that I got in a stationery swap. And I use this watermelon sticker from Dollar Tree and this little, I think it's from Kawaii Chiki. I got it at um, a convention, mini mini con super cute but anyway as you can see I still have some to go I'm almost done so whenever I'm finished with this I will be doing a completed um, journal flip through let me know if you would want to see all of it as like quick flip through like I could do like really quick flip through of all of this since I already have full videos talking about the spreads and then I can go into detail about just this section let me know if you would want to see that or if you would want me to just kick it off with just this I don't know um but anyway that is my journal so far. Like, she thick. Like, look at that. She is thick compared to my last video, guys. And like I said, I use a ton of 3D stickers and I know it's not the vibe for everyone because it does make writing kind of difficult on some things, but I don't care. I use whatever I want and it's, yeah. She's only gonna get thicker when I am finished with her, but 
There you okay go. guys, so um, that is the flip through for today. I hope you like this video. Please let me know down below which spread was your favorite. And again, if you have any questions, um, like where anything's from, washi tape, scrapbook paper, stickers, just leave a timestamp and let me know what you are talking about and I will get back to you. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. If you wanna see more hauls, I would love to have you here and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos so you're notified when I do upload. And um, my TikTok, my Instagram are in description as always if you want to give me a follow on there and stay tuned for the next video other than that guys thank you for spending some time with me stay kawaii and i'll see you next time bye guys